you. Alright guys, so I have a slight problem. See, it's not that big of a problem. It's, let me shower and then I'll explain it to you. Not on my phone. Alright, so this is a slight problem for two reasons. The first reason is I don't like not having my phone. And the second reason is I have work tonight, but my work schedule is on my phone and I don't know what time. I think it's at 4.30, but I'm not 100% sure. It's about 2.45 now, so I'm gonna go in, get my phone. If I have time, then I'm gonna go get a haircut, but I don't know if I will. I do, however, have time to check out one thing real quick. I wanna see how the lens of I wanna see how this lens looks on this camera, so give me just a second. This lens here is a 70 to 200 millimeter Canon. Um, it is, however, pretty old. Let me tell you how old. So my dad bought it at the same time that he bought this camera, which is the Canon 20D. So if that tells you anything, the, the camera I'm using is the 80D, which is a few steps up from this camera. All right, so I'm gonna change the lens and see how it looks. Ready, set. Can you see me? All right, so obviously that lens is a 70 to 200 millimeter, so it's a lot more zoomed in. This is an 18 to 135 millimeter, and this is at 18, and this is at 135. All right, enough shenanigans, I gotta get going. But by far the worst part about not having my phone is not having anything to listen to on the car rides. Good news, guys, I forgot my work shirt, so now I have to go back and get it. Yay! Yay! Guess what, guys, you're not gonna believe this. I'm just having the absolute worst luck today. Check this out, guys, you're gonna love this. You are going to love this. <laughs> Classic. Oh, just classic. Okay, that's unbelievable. All right, guys, the luck just keeps getting worse. My phone is disabled because while it was broken, if you watch my last video, I actually showed the phone, but while it was broken, like the screen was pressing against all the stuff behind the sensors or whatever, and so it kept like forcing my passcode in, and so every time it became undisabled, it typed like because you know after enough failed attempts it goes like five minutes and then after that it goes like 15 and eventually it just disables your phone I think it's after two hours or three hours or something so I can't even use this until I connect to a computer so my problem with figuring out what time I work today has yet to be solved I'm it, I'm just gonna go at 430 and if I'm late I'm late I have it's 330 now I need to run and get a case for this bad boy and then get some food because I didn't really have time to eat after class today. Oh, my God. just the worst luck, guys. The worst luck. I'm thinking about buying a Powerball ticket. What do you guys think? All right, guys, so I'm here now. I'm just going to go in and check and see what time I work. And then from there, I'll know how much time I have. All right, so the first piece of good news that I've gotten today, I don't work until 5. That gives me enough time to get a haircut, get a case, and eat some grub. Let's go. So I went on the app to check in to get a haircut because that's what you do. You save time and stuff. But guess what? I couldn't even do that, guys. All right, here at Best Buy. I'm gonna go get us a freaking phone case, dude. All right, so I was a little worried about this problem, but being that my phone is like three years old, all the new phone cases are here but there's no phones for mine. So they have like one and I think it's gonna get this one because it looks good like enough, should protect her. All right. All right, huge shout out to Otterbox. They make it so easy to get what you need out of the packaging. All you gotta do, if you have two hands, just pull this thing out. Come on. And then your case is right there. None of this digging through papers and all that other crap. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the most indestructible phone possible i got one of those uh eyeglass screen protectors just because i got it for free for viewing uh the place online and now i have a nice auto box on it so i <laughs> shouldn't break it anymore might be the end of my bad luck if only i could use the phone ah. 
All right, sick haircut transition in three, two. All right, so I originally was gonna get a haircut, but I still have to wait like 30 minutes. And so I figured, what a better time to eat than now, since we're right next to Qdoba. Uh, no thanks. All right, the Rito Bowl Orange Powerade. Oh, whoops, making a mess already. All right, now a sick haircut transition. All right, guys, how does it look? Dang, looking sleek, baby. I gotta go to work, so let me let me talk to you afterwards. All right, so being the next day and all, I hope that my luck would get just a little bit better. Um, last night, it did not get better. After I picked up my phone, I realized that it was disabled, right? I think I showed you that. And then after that, I was like, all right, well, once I get home, connect it to my laptop, get it connected to iTunes, everything will be right. Well, tried doing that, and it said something like, the value is missing. And so it wasn't able to connect to iTunes. And so I looked all over the internet. I was up till one o'clock. I got on like 11.30. I was up till one o'clock looking for ways to fix my phone, right? And not a single one of them helped. Not a single, like I could not figure out what to do. All I could find was that I just needed to reset my phone to factory settings, which erases everything off of it. So that was kind of a last resort thing. I really did not want to have to do that because I'd lose all my stuff, all of my um, pictures, all my texts, and everything. So I lost all of that, all my apps, all that stuff. And finally, um, this morning I got able to use my phone back, and I can't get the iCloud to connect to it. Like, I can't get any of my old photos or text messages or apps back. And so I'm a little mad about the photos because I had a lot of somewhat important photos on there. A lot of pictures of my dog. Ugh, it's just a frustrating little thing, you know? Alright guys, but it is Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside. So enough of the bad luck, time to have a good day. I'm not hitting anything today. Um, well, I am, but let me explain. Today's supposed to be a leg day in the push-pull legs. Today would be the last day, and then tomorrow I was supposed to rest. However, my legs hurt so bad from last leg day. So I think I'm just gonna completely skip the second leg day of this like round, and then next week I'll hit legs. But I thought about taking the day off, hitting legs tomorrow, and then starting back over. But then I'll be hitting three legs three times in a row. And so I think I'm just gonna completely take a rest day. Hopefully um, I'll get better at not making my legs this sore. Normally my legs aren't this sore. All right, so I think it was those lunges just absolutely um, annihilated my legs a lot more than normal. However, I'm uh, a little push, pushed on time, got plans tonight, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do some traps, some forearms, some cardio, and some abs. Just little, um, you know, accessory type stuff. Stuff that doesn't get hit as much as it needs to. So that's the plan for now, guys. The thing I'm gonna talk about a little bit is doing daily vlogs. Like, I'm not gonna be able to do as much fitness in every single video. So, like, try to expect fitness in every other video maybe because if I do fitness in every single video then it gets hard for me like I get I get tired of recording every single day in the gym so I might record a little bit in the gym but don't expect fitness in every single video I might try to put some nutrition in the videos and I'm any fitness but still like it's not gonna be um, like walking you through part of my workout like I did in the last video in every single video because it just gets so repetitive for me and I think it gets repetitive for you the audience so that's just a little bit where I'm coming from, but again, I'm gonna end the video here, so see you later. Make sure to subscribe if you're here, give the video a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time, guys.